Hey guys, and welcome back to Binding of Isaac with me. We're continuing our challenge runs. Uh, as you can see, we've got 5 out of 10 complete. We've got to get all 10 of them done. That's the plan. And this time we're going to be doing Lord of the Flies, which is actually the name of a book, one of the first books that got me into reading. Curse of Darkness, which is random. They grow inside. We have attack fly arrows. I'm not sure what that means. Right, so they've got we've got grow inside, basically. That's what we do know. Um... What we also know is that when we take damage... Oh, wow, okay, right. So basically, when we take damage, we are going to spawn flies. But what that fly attack seems to be, I don't think I've ever had that before, um, in the game, for me anyway, is uh, it seems to shoot flies out that do a significant amount of damage every now and then. It's like guppy. Right, two of diamonds. Uh, we've got to save as much money up as we can before we spend it. So that's really great. A fucking card like that so fast. That's really awesome. On the first floor as well. And I'll take Curse of Darkness on the first floor any day of the week, man. So it's not on the other floors. Well, it can be, but it lowers the chance, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we've got a double spider there. This is insane, actually. We're doing a lot of damage. It just feels like we're guppy without the flight. Alright, you, sir. we we got to have words. we got to have words. I definitely am down for that. Definitely need more money, though. I can get up to four coins right now with this uh, diamond famine. Hello there. Alright, let's take our time with you. Just be very careful. Don't let him spawn anything. You just keep keep him charging and being ready for where he's going to land. Very simple. Took me a while to learn this guy's name. I don't know why, but I could remember Pestilence. I could remember War. Shit, he spawned a fly. Um, I could remember Pestilence. I could remember War. I could remember uh, Death. But for some reason, Famine just apparently, you know... I just, I just don't like him or something. Wow, that was really lame. I got stuck on the rock. There you go. Great job, self. Just take loads of red heart damage. It's fine. We got it back. What are you even talking about? All right. Is it worth using diamonds to talk to that guy? Uh, no, we're not getting any item rooms. That's something to consider. So actually, yes, it 100% was worth it to try and get a drop off of him. Because um, I'm not getting any items. So that's dumb. We have a bomb. Let's pray for a small rock. Um, and definitely not a chest. We have a key as well. Awesome. All right, so soul hearts, second best thing. Best thing would have been small rock there. But, you know, at least it gives us a chance to get a deal with the devil, which is going to be one of the main ways we're actually going to be able to get damage here. Not going to do that. Actually, yes, I am. Uh, I got a key and a red heart. That's fine. That was a good result. The reason I chose to do that there um, is because we have no item rooms in this challenge run. Sometimes you do get item runs, rooms. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, a lot of the time you don't in these challenge runs. So you have to take what you can get. Gold chests sometimes can give items. And, uh, yeah, keys are actually pretty, like, not that valuable in challenge runs where you don't have item rooms because you're just not looking to open anything, man. All right. Now, I've taken red heart damage on the last floor, but not on this. So what I'm going to do is focus on going straight to the boss fight in the hopes of getting a deal with the devil right off the bat. Here we go. So this is a tough one. If I had a bomb, I would love to place it here and do damage to him and kill that tinted rock, but... Obviously, I do not have a bomb, so there's that issue. Now, my movement speed isn't that good, but at least Pride right now is uh, not that strong. This is Pride, right? Or is it not? I don't remember the name. Pride, it probably isn't, because the Seven Deadly Sins are actually... Uh, they're mini-bosses, right? So this isn't Pride. Why am I thinking of Pride, then? Because Super Pride is, like, basically this. So, maybe Pride is this. I don't know. Confirm or deny. I've forgotten the name. what the name of this boss is. And I think it's Pride for some reason. Man, I just finished watching Soul Eater, by the way. If you're into anime, um, this may interest you. If you're not, then uh, sorry. But Soul Eater is basically this really cool world where, oh, deal with the devil health increase. We'll wait to take the health increase based on the fact that it might be nine lives. It isn't. It's 25 cents. I can double that. I can double that 25 cents. Um, so I'm actually going to take it, as weird as this is. I'm going to wait, though, because I have this diamond. And hey, we got four hearts. It's all right. We take what we can. It was a bad deal with the devil there in general. But 27 cents, double that into, uh, you know, the whatever it is. Just shy 60, 60 cents or so. Um, but yeah, dude, not bad. But Soul, Soul Eater, man. The anime, it's a really cool world, really interesting sort of concept. And I, I kind of, I really enjoyed the characters themselves and the voice acting. But the story was really fucking bad, in my opinion. Like, they had this, like, really fucking cool... They had this really fucking cool, like, list of characters. Amazing voice work, man. Absolutely fucking awesome. When death got serious, oh my god. Um, <laughs> I've never been so aroused by a male voice. Um, seriously, it was absolutely just 
brilliant voice acting and visually that it was beautiful the world and like the quality of the animation and drawing and all that absolutely fucking awesome really enjoyed that but then there was just like I don't know I was just let down by the story it was just random book of revelations is that yes and we want to take it so we're gonna diamonds here 56 coins book of revelations give ourselves some uh, extra stuff uh, it's gonna be important not to take the key here because it's worthless. Maybe if we get money equals power, you know, we'll be happy about that. But we have a soul heart now, a way to generate soul hearts. So that's really nice that we have a space bar item in a run with no item rooms. Um, a way to sort of generate devil rooms easier because we're not taking red heart damage. It's a shame we haven't got any bombs here. There wasn't a bomb there, but there was a key and a red heart. So I don't get to take that tinted rock again. Curse of Darkness again, what the fuck? That's bad chances. Really bad chances. But yeah, I'm thinking this is a really interesting challenge run. But anyway, back to Soul Eater. So yeah, the story, I don't know, it just felt like random. I thought the ending was like, alright, I guess. I guess we'll take this and just use it. I thought it might be an item room. There's a bomb. Very least we have a bomb now. It's actually three of the seven or eight books. I think it's seven now. I'm pretty sure it's seven. Seven that I have unlocked. I know there's like eight because there's like monster there's this monster book or something um not sure what it does but i've not unlocked it you actually unlock it via doing challenge runs so one of these challenge runs i'll probably unlock it this monster book but apparently it's not that great of an item so there's that but yeah it's all here man story really found it was lacking um pocket actually she messaged me saying i saw you tweet about you know that you watched it and uh, i want to talk to you about it and i was like all right um and we were talking and she was telling me that the manga has like an absolutely just fucking amazing story like so fucking good and in the actual anime they just took out like so much awesome character development and like character traits that made characters so fucking cool and certain characters way more powerful and interesting than stuff that was in the actual thing and here's an interesting thing to think about in Soul Eater um, the anime actually finished before the manga did now what that means if you don't really know is manga usually is like the drawing book version um, of, uh, you know, a series, an anime series. It's where, like, anime usually comes from. There's usually a manga first before there's an anime. It's like there's a usually, nice red patch, there's usually a, a book before a film, you know, a lot of the time. Um, and the book is usually better, is the rule, usually. And it seems it actually is a thing as well with the manga. You know, the manga is usually better, apparently. Um, she was telling me all these things about these characters, and I'm not going to spoil it for you, obviously, but she was telling me all these things about these characters and how awesome these things were about these characters and, like, certain things that happen in the story that are just so fucking mind-blowingly cool and awesome that just didn't get put in the anime and they just ended it early. Fuck, that was really bad dumb damage. Uh, there is a real good chance that I'm not going to get to deal with the devil here if I'm not careful. At least I get a wonderful situation like that and I can now use Book of Revelations. Now, I'm actually going to try not to use Book of Revelations. Um, yeah, good. Oh no, I, I wanna. No, I'm gonna use it. I can I can do it now. I can do it now because what it'll do is uh, give me another cube of meat, another you know four horsemen fight, uh, which is sometimes good, sometimes bad. In this situation we're in now, we're actually looking for the boss room items as much as we can. We're gonna really need them, uh, so that's why I was reluctant to use it there. But uh, I decided to go against that and just go for it. Well, yeah, screw it. We'll take it. We'll take the bomb as well. Uh, we've got loads of money. We'll take the soul heart. Good. All right. We're in a really good situation here. Um, but right now, we're able to take that book of revelations and turn the boss into a horseman. Because um, we don't actually care. You know, we don't actually care that uh, that was really nice. That was nice. It's not so... Everything went smooth apart from that guy, damn it. Um, yeah, so... It is really interesting and cool of the world and stuff in Soul Eater, but... Yeah, the manga was apparently the things that happened in the manga, and I'm really looking forward to reading the manga now based on what she told me. Um, it was just like, the book was still being wrote, and then they made it. Damn it, Headless Horseman's actually, like, one of the hardest ones in my opinion. I have some issues with it. So I focus on taking down the head first, as always. Um, I find him charging around. Ah, oh, damn it, he disjointed right into me. I find him lo a lot more obnoxious because he shoots at you and comes at you from, like, all over the screen and stuff. Um, a lot more than the guy shooting explosions in your general area that usually don't reach you. So, yeah, that's why I choose to kill the head there. 
But yeah, I'm okay to take this here and turn it into a horseman because, you know, I don't have a uh, a, a, a Q boy with uh, a, a meat boy even with sentiments. Oh, that is sentiment, rather. Ooh, just made it through the gap. And deal with devil. Come on. Fuck you. Damn it. Damn it, flight is really good. Flight is really good, but Book of Revelation is probably better right now, just to keep us going. Now, if I use this, it's going to turn it into a horseman. And again, I'll actually take that. I will actually be happy with a horseman, uh, simply because we don't actually have any item rooms, and we don't have, like, second level of Meat Boy. Um, and he will actually help us. He'll increase our damage ever so slightly, and he's still a good orb effect. Um, level 3... Meat Boy I'm not going to take, probably, because it's just worse. He betrays us, as we know, um, all the time, man. All the time. He's, he's such a jerk. I mean, hell, I might take him, just because he's, like, going to be helpful when we don't actually have, like, many ways to increase our damage. But I don't know. I am going to use the book, though, for sure. Right. I mean, there's not really many ways that... Uh, sure, there are a couple of items that drop off boss fights that technically increase your damage. Um, like tears upgrades and uh, damage upgrades. But they're kind of rare. Usually it's like health upgrades. So... And we're okay for health. Telepillis. Interesting. I'm going to use the Book of Revelations before we complete this room. So I at least get the charge. But yeah, I'm looking forward to reading the manga on uh, Soul Eater. And generally just feeling like, why did they end it? Um... Now, they did something with Full Metal Alchemist, where they did, like, Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And what that was was basically a remake of the story, a retelling. Um, and Full Metal br me b b b b Brotherhood basically was closer to the book, closer to, uh, but closer to the manga, even. Uh, closer to the original story, basically. So, yeah, that's why I'm interested in... That's, it, was, it was really good, and that's why I'm interested in watching the Soul Eater one. Because, uh, you know, I want to see the original thing. Not just, like, this weird, like, adaptation that just changes everything. Like, fucking, like, M. Night Shyamalan making a film. And he's just terrible. That was just scary. He moves insanely fast as this chub. And he spawns quite tough enemies. So I am going to use bombs here, I think. Oh! Alright, him. Good. Okay. Okay, I'm a bit focused here. A bit focused here. Sorry about the insanely long anime talk, by the way, if you're not interested in anime and stuff. But uh, I am, I'm sorry. Wow, it didn't actually... I just realized it didn't spawn a Headless Horseman, and we got tears up, which is awesome. A Horseman, not Headless Horseman. Flight, or the Contra... or Pact. I'm going to take Pact, for sure. And as much as I want to take Flight, I uh, don't want... I don't want to in this situation, uh, because... You know, I want to uh, be able to have red hearts and be able to survive. Sure, I could survive on soul hearts and we could have like a weird blue baby style run, but nah, I'm good, thanks. I'm just going to keep the red hearts and deal with not having flight for a little bit longer. Who knows, we can still get it. Man, our attack speed is really nice now. Um, we do a lot of damage because of packed, or rather enough damage. Um... Everything feels pretty good about this run. We have Book of Revelations. The flies from the sort of guppy effect are really cool and really helpful. And I'm not actually that threatened. The flight would have just been like the turning point. Like we would have just been like, yeah, we definitely won this run if we got that flight. If we still had a way to get red hearts after that fact. And because we didn't, I was just reluctant, you know. So chances are we're going to face greed here. I'm going through the rest of the floor simply to re charge my uh, Book of Revelations and uh, get more soul hearts at really no cost. We'll take the compass, we'll take another soul heart. Um, we don't have enough money for the uh, the tarot card, but if we find enough money, I'll definitely go back and get it. Champion turret fella is always irritating, but it's fine. There we go. Rage has recently been getting into Binding of Isaac. You guys were making him play it on stream. And my god, is that what I was like when I was first playing the game? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's like, it is hard to watch. You know, you give him tips and you try and be nice and stuff. 
because you know new players obviously are all gonna have the same issues and trying to learn the game and be weirded out and slowly get their like grips with it and you have to be understanding and whatnot but holy crap the mistakes <laughs> it's just like you can't get over it man uh, it doesn't look like we're going to find that one more coin unless it's in this secret room of which we have not been in yet. So here we go. Alright, we got the money. So it's worth going back and just picking up the card, I think. But you guys don't need to see that. Alright, so I played the uh, arcade a little bit. You know, I got Fly Love. Um, I played the Temperance Blood Bank a little bit. Didn't get anything. It just wouldn't give me an item. It was being mean. Uh, which was just a shame. Whoa there, don't want to take damage right now, uh, especially when I don't have many red hearts, and I really need to keep these soul hearts, bro. I really do. Um, so yeah, we got the Magician card, not happy with that pickup. Sometimes it's worth it to buy tarot cards in a shop, just because occasionally you get something really useful, like Temperance, or, you know, um, uh, God, oh God, I can't, I can't speak words at the moment, I'm sorry. Um, words are just like, betraying, there we go. Alright, <laughs> we're back, we're back. Words are back, guys. Greed? Mum's purse is great, but we're not seeing any other trinkets at the moment. I will definitely pick it up if I get the option. Um, otherwise, let's go into the secret room. Pow. Super greed. Interesting. Let's try and get rid of you as fast as fucking possible. Without taking too much damage, if you would please. I also have Red Patch, which really increased my damage there, which was really nice. Magician Chariot. Uh, yes, yeah, Sacrifice Room. So yeah, sure, we'll use that. Let's go to the Sacrifice Room and use Chariot as much as we can. You can get some real value out of Chariot. It's a shame that was a red one and not a black, uh, black fly because black flies explode and all that. That's actually a really good companion, but Red Patch has seen real use. It is increasing our damage significantly when we take damage, and as much as you don't want to, like, plan to take damage, it is really helpful when I do, so I will actually keep it. Wait, no, it's only percent chance for Red Patch to activate, isn't it? Not on every hit, so... But I also have the Grow Inside, which is real good synergy, so there's that. Alright, there it is, I managed to get a free load of coins. I wonder if I can get, like, more out of it now, okay, damn. Uh, yeah, worth using the chariot there, I'd say. For sure. For sure. There we go. Alright. Inside here. That's pretty good. Speed and range up. I'll take it. Speed increases can be really, really nice. We weren't, like, exactly lacking speed exactly, but we weren't, like, having any amazing speed or anything like that either. So, it's definitely a nice pickup. I think the best pickup you can get from those vials is the growth hormones because it's like I think it does something besides I don't I can't remember what it is it might be speed and damage it's something in damage and you know usually a damage upgrade is always a good thing so yeah there's that okay but yeah this is probably the second best one I'd say the worst one is not actually poison touch but the one that increases your your shot speed um, shot speed always backfires for me um, you know, you guys have been saying in comments and stuff, actually shot speed's not that bad. But I have to say, I have to say, man, shot speed is really bad. Because it just, it makes it harder to hit an enemy because your thing's flying across, your attack is flying past faster. Uh, oh, shit, yeah, of course. We can take, we can take Isaac's head and also keep Red Patch because of Mom's purse that we're about to get. Awesome, awesome. I'm not going to spend the money on the Red Heart. We're going to get Red Hearts somewhere on the floor. Uh, I got the Soul Hearts to protect me, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, double trinket. But yeah, shot speed increases the, the speed at which your attack flies across. But it also makes a bigger gap between each shot because of that. Um, and it makes it harder to hit because it's flying across the screen faster. It also disjoints the enemy. So if you hit an enemy, it knocks it back with normal attacks. With shot speed increase, it knocks the enemy about even more. Again, making it harder to hit the enemy. So that's why I'm just really against uh, that type of uh, upgrade. It just really... Honestly, it just doesn't help. It just backfires. So yeah, Fly Love was really helpful in that other room where, you know, we just didn't have to really deal with anything. Um, and there's one of those red hearts I was saying I was going to get eventually. There we go. All right, come on. Get some luck here. Damn it. Damn it. No curse room luck as of yet on this run. Just uh, keep trying to fuel this Book of Revelations as much as we can without also spending our charges of Book of Revelations if that's possible. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, Fly Love, really good on this uh, on Necro Necro Necropolis. Uh, because you get those uh, enemies that are like big flies that fly around and spawn fuck tons of flies. With Fly Love, they just don't attack you, which makes it so easy. Fly Love, gotta say, I underrated Fly Love quite hard originally. And it is just a really fucking good pickup. Having all flies just not attack you, fucking wonderful, man. Absolutely wonderful. So useful. Makes the world so easier. So much easier. Especially in bosses that spawn loads of flies as well, like Duke of Flies. And Duke of Flies 2. And Duke of Flies 4. And Duke of Flies 8. None of those exist. Apart from the first and second one, I guess. Not happy about this room in the slightest. I have lost a soul heart. Entering this room was the opposite of what I wanted. Regret. This is okay. This is okay. There we go. My attack speed is really nice. With Mom's Pearl, uh, Mom's uh, Purse, the double trinkets getting Isaac head, Isaac's head is really nice. Having an increase of damage when I take damage occasionally with Red Patch, really nice. Uh, spawning loads of flies when I take damage. Spawning flies when I attack. This feels pretty good right now. I gotta say, the run feels won in terms of at least completing the challenge. And I'm quite excited and interested to know what I will actually unlock. Here we go, these guys. So much easier. The flies just don't attack me. They just sort of come near me. So much easier. Not if you just, like, walk into the enemy, though, and have an explosion go off right in your face, you big dingus. God damn it. What a waste. One bomb for a bomb gain? Yeah, sure, I'll take it, I guess. Ugh. Ugh. I'll just make that sound every time that green statue shoots. It's a good idea, I think. Stop shooting at me. I understand that's kind of what you're meant to do as an enemy. You're supposed to attack me, but I just want you to stop. You know, I just want you to stop. All right, finally. Ooh, blood bank. We have no red hearts lying around the floor, though. Speaking of the devil, there's one that just dropped. All right, can't do any more, but maybe we get some uh, poppage, poppage off this fight. I swear the picture was just war. This is not war, this is judgment. What the fuck? Okay, stand by the door. We know the rule. I've, I've discussed it many times. If you hide at the door, it shouldn't be able to hurt you. Okay, there we go. The lightning just doesn't hurt you. Our attack speed one is actually just wonderful, man. Ah, oh, man, on my way to the door, I got hit. Fuck. That's a real shame. I am taking a lot of soul heart damage, which is actually a large concern, because it's, like, the majority of my health. Oh, wow, a different attack type. Didn't know you could do that. Ow, fuck your magic shit. Fuck your magic shit. All warriors said to every mage ever. A deal with the devil, good. And now we have uh, two orb effects, great. So we've got a fly love as well. That's a real shame. Damn it, I can't take either of those. Fuck. That's really lame. Alright, it's time for us to just get them uh, a move on here. Um, and just go straight to the boss, I think. We have money and we faced greed last time. Super greed, so maybe. Sudden regret. Sudden, re sudden regret. All well, these asshole masters chasing me. I just decided to get in there and just do what I could. Okay, soul heart, good. Ah, ladder bad. Take this. The devil increased my damage on the boss fight, good. Alright, now we just want to go straight to the boss fight if we can. I am generally concerned, uh, genuinely, not gen generally, um, concerned that we just don't have enough health right now. So we gotta, we gotta just blast through here. Blast through. Alright, we're gonna go into the secret room. Could be a mini boss. Fortunately, it isn't. Uh, I guess we're using a bomb here to blow this up at the same time. Which is fine, because it gave me half a red heart. Alright, this is a nice room. Should get one more Book of Revelations charge while on our way. This sucks. I am getting a lot of these masks, guys. And as I have explained many a time, I just suck at fighting them. So... There goes loads of HP again. 
That's fine. No, that's not fine. That is not fine. I just took double damage from the same attack. Oh boy, it's all breaking apart right now. What is happening? Okay, this is fine. We have Fly Love. Let's just not attack that one. Just focus on bringing them down. Oh god. Oh, okay, we're fine. There we go. Make it easier. There we go. Black ones are a lot easier to deal with than the red ones because you know that they're just going to blow up and not shoot something out at you. Alright, so we use the Devil card. We increase our damage by a significant amount. Fly Love going to be really nice here. Our damage is really good. It's just I'm having like really bad play here at the end of this run for some reason. Oh, wow. Good job, Self. You just didn't dodge. There we go. Really nearly got her. Nearly got her. Look at the damage. There you go. Health increase. Polaroid. Polaroid better than Red Patch, I would say. Alright, let's go down. We have to make it to Mom's heart to uh, unlock this one, it would seem. Now, it's uh, just a uterus one, which is really good. Strength, good. Increase of damage for the boss fight. I'll take it. This is scary as hell. Oh, that was horrifying. But we're fine. We're fine. Curse of Darkness, a real, real annoyance. Strength, tower. Nah, we'll take strength. Thank you very much. Tower is spa spawns loads of bombs around you and uh, not very worth much to me right now. Take out the laser thing as a priority. Try not to get, like, wedged in between them. And there we go. All right, good. Significantly easier. Cool. Could just get, like, health increase and such. I would be very happy. Oh my, that was quite close. Just make it through the gap. They kind of wedge you in very quickly because they sort of teleport around the room and it's scary. There we go, last one now. There we go. Revelations charge, good. So many keys that I just don't want, man. Let's keep moving left. Ugh. So many projectiles in this room. Ugh. Okay, good. Significantly less projectiles in the room. In fact, zero projectiles in the room. Ugh. Okay, keep going left. That's the plan. I regret this plan. Who came up with this plan? This was a terrible plan. Fire them immediately. <laughs> Fuck. I hate mini girdies. They're so fast. Somehow I got away with it. And a soul heart drop. Very nice. I actually really am happy with the result of that room. No damage taken and a health increase. Okay. I'll take that to the bank and laugh. What, what kind of weird saying is that, man? To the bank laughing or laugh my way to the bank? I get it, you're getting money and you're happy. Why are you laughing like a crazy person? Alright, so we went the wrong way. Curse of Darkness is obviously making this a little bit harder to orientate myself, but I'm pretty damn sure that the only way is to go up and up and then new area to my left. I have a memory, guys. Are you proud of me? Alright, looks like we're going right then. Fuck, we went literally every direction apart from the correct one. I was quite lucky that we took that one out. These guys are quite the pain. Spiders, shockingly, aren't affected by fly love. Who knows why? Alright. One more room with enemies and I get another Book of Revelations charge. Scary. Ah, God. Scary. Let's just do as much damage as we can to them. There we go. Alright. Significantly easier. Revelations charge. Good. Alright, our HP is suddenly okay again. Or rather, not so suddenly, but we've silly work for it. Okay, there we go. Slowly just focus on taking out these. It doesn't matter to take out the ones when they're small. Fuck, I ran right into a hit there. Just as everything got easy. Fuck. Alright, there goes that Book of Revelations charge I immediately used. Fuck, that's fine. Oh, made it through the gap somehow. Thank you, insane speed. Alright, we're good. We're good. Uh, yes. I don't really have anywhere else to spend my money. But I'm afraid he's going to knock me onto the spikes. Nice. Actually, really bad spacebar item. I just said nice that I kind of only had to spend two coins to get that. Um, it's not bad, I guess. It freezes enemies, which is good DPS. It's just Book of Revelations is kind of better. We have fought two of these on this run, haven't we? And I'm just going to use strength and have more damage. I probably should have used that sooner. Um, but hey, whatever, we, we're gonna get away with it. 
we don't take any damage here, I'll be really happy. And we didn't. Deal with the devil. Right, that's really bad. I don't want that. Oh, Krampus. Good. Good. It, do, it costs nothing to just have an increase of damage. Now, you guys were telling me it was not actually too, too damage increased, but it is, like, significant to how far it's flying, basically. And either way, it is a damage increase, and it's just good to have. Um... You know, it's not like an amazing item and there are better deals with the devil, but to say that it costs us nothing and it's a damage increase, really can't complain. So the reason we're not going to take the 8-ball is something that you guys were actually telling me in the last comments. I've got to say, huge thank you to the guys leaving me tips and help and stuff in the comments and videos. 8-ball um, gives you a tarot card when you pick it up, and it also doesn't actually tears up. It's a bug. Um, they coded it wrong. Basically, what it specifically does is increase your shot speed in the same way that Cat and Ninetale does. And uh, yeah, as we know, that's really bad. Um, as I was just saying in this episode, you just don't want that. In my opinion, it's really bad for the reasons I've stated. Um, that's just lame. I could have moved out of the way of that probably, but I just didn't, okay? I just didn't. There we go, that was quite a nice room. And yeah, so HP-wise, we should be all right. This is, this is a fine room. I somehow managed to take out the identi identical version of me accidentally there without taking damage. Beautiful. And we've made it to Mom's room on three red hearts and two soul hearts. Tears up. Nice. Perfect. Right, we have plenty of flies. We have fly... fly... the, the fly that goes around me to stop damage. We have Isaac's head and we have Meat Boy's head. So we have some companions and good, like, damage. Single target damage, really nice. So what we're going to focus on is clearing these up, as always. And just bombing our way to victory. Oh, I really should have taken damage there, I think. That was lame, the way the bomb flew away from me, but our single target damage is wonderful. I actually regret using that strength card that we had on the last floor to finish off that horse. Really didn't need to do that. Uh, what I could have just done instead is use it here and really benefit from it way more. I really needed the bomb to go off and like be good there. Because these guys suck and take a while to kill. Um, and it, I'd messed it up, so. QQ. It's fine. It didn't take too long. It's actually quite hard for me to land bombs in this situation. Simply because uh, I'm knocking them so far forward all the time. Oh, okay. Right, so I'm knocking them across the screen like a mile away from me. But, uh, you know, when I need it to actually do it, it just doesn't move. Right, okay. You dick. And Chubb just ran away from me as well. What a jerk. I'm going to focus on the boss here if I can. Oh god, three red hearts. Focus on the boss. There we go, just kill it. A fish head. That's what we unlocked. We unlocked a fish head. How bleh. Oh, whoops. I was going to go to the devil room. Oh well, it's fine. It's overall a pretty quick run at 30 minutes. Um, there is the challenge run. That was uh, Lord of the Flies. I really had a lot of fun with that. Um, no item rooms. I, uh, loads of flies that you attack with, spawning them when you take damage. Um, overall, not the hardest run, but by far not the easiest. I gotta say, like, the spider boy with quad shot immediately must have been easier than that, surely. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Nearly finished the um, challenge runs. Probably gonna do some on stream soon, so I may have finished them for the next video. Or maybe I'll save the purist for a video. Maybe? I don't know. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I've been Hollow, you've been you. See you next time, guys.